going on YouTube? It's Andy the Parent Head Picker coming at you guys today with another eBay sales update video. Uh, for those of you guys who are new to my channel, uh, I'm a part-time eBay reseller, Poshmark seller, Amazon seller, Facebook marketplace, offer up, let go, uh, pretty much anywhere where I can make a bucket, a buck or two. I source from places like garage sales, thrift stores, retail arbitrage, uh, Facebook, uh, you know, anywhere where there's an opportunity to uh, try and uh, make an extra dollar or two for uh, the family. Um, you know, that's uh, that's what we do here. And uh, if I could kind of help you guys do that as well, um, you know, maybe you guys will pick up a tip, a trick. Um, I'll tell you what I paid for some of these items, why I sourced them or why I picked them up, um, where I got them from and what have you. So anyway, guys, um, like I said, we're going to probably share somewhere around 45, probably 50 to some items with you guys today. This is not everything that I sold over the month of June. Uh, we're slowly getting all caught up. Uh, we're almost back to uh, doing the regular sales. I've had a little bit more time uh, lately. Uh, to devote to uh, getting back onto YouTube and what have you. So if you guys are new to the channel, uh, please uh, consider uh, hitting the uh, subscribe button and uh, you'll be able to get these uh, new updates and whatever. Um, and if you're on Instagram, uh, you guys can follow me over there. I post stuff pretty regularly regularly on Instagram. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But uh, anyway, guys, enough about all that stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into it. That's what you guys came for. Here we go. If you guys see me looking down, uh, that's where I have my notes and stuff like that. So uh, but anyway, yeah, so first up, um, we got these really nice uh, women's New Balance, um, just cross trainers. I love sourcing shoes, um, just something I've really gotten into uh, a little heavier here lately. Um, I paid $5.99 for these at my local Goodwill. Just a really nice pair of shoes. Uh, they sold for $31.83 plus a buyer paid shipping on top. Uh, I usually charge shipping for all my shoes. Um, most all of them go for about that, you know, in that one to two pound range. We'll just say the I charge the two pound rate. Uh, so they were all in at forty five seventy two with the shipping, so not too bad. Uh, up next, uh, another item that I really really love uh, picking up is uh, hats. If you watched my last sales update video that I just put out here, I believe it was last week, I had some really good hat sales in here, and I've got a really really good one uh, coming up in just a little bit. So you guys want to stick around for that? It's a really awesome hat. Uh, but this one here is just a regular University of Oregon Ducks uh, New, Era, New Era hat. This one here sold for $23.79. I was into this for $0.99, cents, which is a great price for a hat. And I picked this up at my local Goodwill. Uh, the $0.99 cent hat days at my local Goodwill are long gone now. Um, and like I said, this is uh, end of July right now, but this is a June catch-up video. Yeah, you can't touch a hat at my local Goodwill now for under probably $6. Bucks, um, and that's in terrible condition. So uh, Goodwill is just absolutely crazy um you know leave in the comment section below uh, how your uh, thrift stores are if they're still uh, pretty reasonable for hats or if they've started marketing them uh, out of this world uh, but like i said on average uh, most hats now in my local goodwill are uh, 5.99 to 9.99 so uh, i'm getting where i can't source hats anymore if you also watched that last video sorry to keep rambling here a little bit uh but i do buy a lot of hats on ebay and i will flip them back to ebay and in that last video i did show there was a few hats um, that i did feature in that video um they sold for some pretty good money that were all part of ebay flip uh next up um these here are a pair of vintage 80s kent playing cards um they just got some owls on them not big money uh but these sold for 15.83 um you know shipped uh, first class at a little six by nine pad of bubble mailer um, you know, not a home run item by any means, but I picked these up for uh, 25 cents um, at a uh, garage sale. So nice little score there. Um, this here, mind you, this is June. Yeah, uh, I get asked all the time, uh, you know, when's the best time to sell coats or shorts or swimwear or that anytime. List it and it'll sell. Uh, this here is a Columbia Platinum um, Edition uh, Thermo or Turbo Down uh, Down Winter Jacket. Uh, this here sold in June for uh, $54.89 plus fire paid shipping in top, on top. So they were all in at $70.33. I paid $9.99 for this at my local Goodwill. This was an absolutely awesome coat. Just a super, super nice jacket. And it sold in June. So guys, um, you know, if you guys are new to reselling and what have you, man, whenever you pick up your items, list it. Uh, it's the best advice I can give anybody. Um, it's never going to make you any money sitting in a pile or waiting until, you know, the, the time of year that you deem that uh, oh, it should sell now. This stuff sells, uh, you know, anytime. Um, I sell shorts in December. So, um, you know, winter coats in uh, June. So, you know, just anytime, guys. Uh, here's another really cool hat. I actually picked up two of these. This here's a vintage Chrysler Pr Plymouth Prowler hat. Um, like I said, I got two of these. Um, this is part of an eBay to eBay flip um, that I was just mentioning to you guys. Uh, I was all into this when I cost average the hats that I picked up, uh, $1.48. 
This one sold for $26.99. And mind you guys, I got two of these. Um, probably in my next sales update, I will feature the other one and I'll tell you what I got out of that. I believe it was right around the same price. So um, yeah, nice little sale there. So guys, yeah, um, eBay is a great uh, place to source items uh, on occasion. Okay, this here is a retail arbitrage um, item. Uh, I got a great tip from uh, another fellow reseller. Um, it's very important, guys, to uh, you know network with other resellers. Um, but this was a tip that uh, somebody gave me when the SpaceX uh, exploration took off. Uh, but this here is a Thai Flippables. Um, his little name is uh, Tremor. Um, just a little sequin dinosaur. What made this thing special? Um, I was into this guy for ten bucks. I picked it up at uh, Johan Fabrics of all places. And uh, we flipped it for $49.40 plus a buyer paid shipping. So they were in for $53.48. But what made this special is this dinosaur, excuse me, uh, was on the SpaceX mission. Um, I actually included two photos uh, in the listing. Um, and I'll, I I can put them up here on the screen so you guys could actually see those. I figured it would kind of help sell this item uh, so they could actually see this guy off in space. And this thing sold in just a couple days of me listing. Actually, it sold in uh, one day. It shows, uh, I listed this June 1st, and it sold on June 2nd. So, yeah, sold in one day. So, super quick flip, and uh, it's a great ROI on retail arbitrage. Typically, on retail arbitrage, you don't get that sort of uh, return on investment. So, here's just a regular pair of Sperry's. I'm real careful with Sperry's anymore. Um, they just... Don't, I just don't seem to get the money out of them uh, that I used to, and they typically are always marked up uh, at my local thrifts anyway. I did pick these up at Goodwill. I did pay $2.99 for these, so that was actually a really good price for those. Um, actually, I think I got them on a half-off day, and that was still actually a pretty good price. Um, but uh, yeah, just a really cool patriotic. Um, yeah, mind you, um, this was June, so uh, somebody probably bought these for the 4th of July uh, or what have you, but uh, these sold for $27.91. And they paid shipping on top, so they were in for $39.36. So nice little return on investment there on a $3 purchase. Um, again, I mentioned uh, I, I love selling shoes. Um, and hats, uh, another hat. Um, this here is a, a vintage um, Fraternal Order of Police um, snapback baseball hat. This was also in an eBay to eBay flip. Uh, it was just a large lot of hats that I picked up on eBay um, when I cost average that out. This one here also was $1.48. Um, and I sold this for $29.89 free shipping. So great return there. Um, actually, I believe that whole hat purchase shipped to my house was less than, um, I think it was around $27. Bucks. So uh, just this hat alone, I was already uh, even on. Um, this here uh, is a vintage Arizona, um, just snapback hat with a little road runner on it, a cactus. Uh, the desert, I used all the little keywords. This I actually uh, sourced from a free bin. Guys, don't look, don't overlook free bins at garage sales. Sometimes there's some real treasure in there. Um, if I had to put a dollar amount on, like mind you, this is uh, the end of July, I've probably made over $400 on just free bin items so far, just this uh, garage sale season. So there's some really good money out there just sitting in the free bins. Uh, so I got this for free, this sold for $18.79. Uh, free ship, so nice little uh, return on investment there, uh, on my no investment. Uh, I love selling Harley-Davidson stuff. There's a ton of it out there, but I'm very picky about what I uh, source and I pick up, and I typically get pretty good money out of Harley stuff. Uh, those of you guys who follow my channel, you guys know that I probably get a little bit more than the average reseller. Uh, most Harley t-shirts tend to float in that $15 to $17 range. I got $21.89 out of this shirt. Uh, and this sold in two days. Um, I listed this on uh, June 7th and this sold on June 9th. So extremely quick turnaround. Uh, I paid a dollar for this at a uh, little charity thrift here locally. Uh, but what made this stand out is the, it's ombre. Um, and if you guys don't know what ombre means, it's where it starts out one color and it fades into another color. So it's orange and it fades into black. Um, this is definitely something I will pick up. I typically do not pick up basic black Harley shirts. There are exceptions uh, to every rule. Uh, unless it has some crazy graphic or something, I typically normally will only stick with colored Harley shirts and the larger sizes. And this was a uh, larger size. This was a 25th anniversary shirt and a 2XL. So I had three things going for it that I tend to really look for. And I knew it would be a very quick sell. Um, I probably could have even got a little bit more money out of it. But, you know, I'm not in the business to just sit on inventory either. So, yeah, $21.89. Real nice sale there. Uh, here's another hat. This here's a retail arbitrage. I picked this up at a local farm store. Um, I 
probably picked up five or six of these. Um, I got these for like $4.99, um, and I got $23.49 out of it. So nice little return on retail arbitrage item. Um, I think this may be my last one. I got a bunch of these Columbia PFG hats, um, like I said, from a local farm, uh, farm supply store. Um, they were just clearancing them out, and uh, yeah, I jumped on them. Uh, this here is just a Belkin um, extension cable. I picked this up at a garage sale. Um, I think this was on a free table or 50 cents. Um, I actually don't have it in my notes here, um, but I know I wasn't into this for very much. It's new sealed. I quick scanned it. I seen it was going for some pretty decent money. Um, I, I assumed it was at least 10 bucks, and uh, you know I would be able to flip it probably pretty quick. And if not, um, I could always use USB cables. So uh, this sold for 18.49. Free ship, went in a little padded uh, bubble mailer and out the door it went. So nice little return there. Not a home run item, but a nice little bread and butter item. So another really nice pair of shoes. These are Polo Ralph Lauren, uh, Federico, I believe. Um, high top, just uh, fashion sneakers, whatever you want to call them. These sold for $42.01 plus fire paid shipping on top. Put it at $58.38. Uh, I was into these for $6.99 at my local Goodwill. So um, nice little sale there. Um, Lana Burger, um, this here's just a Lana Burger travel mug, so something a little different. Um, sold in about three months, so I kind of sat on it for a little bit, but I was only into it for $1.50. Uh, picked this up at uh, my local Goodwill. Um, actually, I was just in there uh, this afternoon, and they had the basic coffee mugs in this same pattern now for $5.99. So, big difference in just a few months. So, uh, Lana Burger Pottery does extremely well. Um, honestly, if I'm going to pick up anything in Burger, I would pick up pottery over baskets. Um, the pottery does very, very, very well. And if you can find the original Roseville stuff, um, even better. Uh, it's another uh, retail arbitrage item. Um, back when uh, everything was going on, uh, you know, with everything going on in the, in the world today and what have you, and, you know, wherever you stand on things, that's, you know, neither here nor there. And uh, this is definitely not the channel for that. Uh, I, you know, this channel is all about making money and uh, wherever there's opportunities, uh, I'm one of those individuals that will, I will seize one of those opportunities. Again, importance of networking with other individuals. I got a nice little tip from a, a good friend of mine who's also a reseller um, and uh, said so you might want to check these out. I found uh, my local Walmart was selling these for $3.74 a piece. This is Gone with the Wind on DVD. Um, I picked up three of these, I believe. Uh, that was all I could find. Uh, I used a app where I could uh, source inventory, and the inventory numbers were way off. Um, they were showing that my local one had six, uh, and another one near me had six, and I was only able to find three out of uh, 12, supposedly. So uh, anyway, but I was really happy with this uh, return on investment. This one here uh, sold for $39.89, and they paid shipping on top. Um, this is what media mail. So nice, great return on a retail arbitrage item, but this, yeah, just Gone with the Wind DVD. Um, here's another one that sold, $39.89, shipping on top. Um, so that's two, and I paid $374 for that one as well. Um, here's, a, this here's a Ron John Surf Shop. Ron John original stuff, uh, like from Orlando, does extremely well. This had a, a great pattern. Actually showed the back. It's got nice, bright, vibrant colors and what have you. Uh, this sold, I believe, in one day. Yeah. Or, yeah, this sold in one day. Um, I, I, when I seen it, I picked it up. I knew it would sell probably pretty quick just due to the pattern, the colorway. Um, but, yeah, this is the nice Ron John logo on a regular T-shirt. Sold for $19.89. I was into this for $2.99. So, Really quick flip there. A nice little uh, Ron John t-shirt. So if you find some nice older vintage Ron John stuff, um, typically will sell very um, pretty quick and uh, for some good money. Uh, this here is a, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. I don't even know if this is an actual uh, name brand or whatever, but this is one of those instances, guys, that I'm going to share with you that sometimes uh, it's not necessarily the name, but it's the theme um, or what's going on. Um, this is a nice, bright... Um, Hawaiian shirt. It's double extra large. It's got parrots. Uh, you know, my name is Parrot Head Picker. I'm a big Jimmy Buffett fan. So, you know, this is uh, some actually used Parrot Head in the title. Um, this thing here sold uh, pretty quick as well. 
I uh, went for $29.89. I was into this for $3.99. I picked this up at my local Goodwill. But just a really, really nice, just a Hawaiian shirt in a nice size. Bright colors with a lot going on. Okay, guys, this is another uh, awesome hat sale. If you guys follow me on Instagram or do not follow me and would like to, um, I, my, uh, I'll have all my Instagram information uh, in uh, contact information down below and at the end of this video. But it's parrothead underscore picker at uh you know on, on instagram so uh but i featured this hat uh on that um already over on instagram so a lot of you guys who follow me or know me um, have probably already seen this uh but this here is a vintage salem michael jordan chicago bulls caricature caricature uh snapback hat this sold i believe in two days yeah i listed this on 614 and this sold on the 16th uh, i paid a dollar 99 for this um at a garage sale um, awesome, awesome pickup, and uh, this sold for $74.89, uh, free shipping in two days. So, awesome return on, on investment on this nice vintage Bulls Michael Jordan hat. Um, couldn't have been happier with that. I love selling hats, guys. And I've skipped over some of the hats I sold, a lot of just my basic $20 hats, but some of the ones that are over the $20 mark, uh, I've been sharing with you guys here. Mentioned about free bin finds. Uh, this here's another free bin find. Um, this is just in a bin of plush I happened to find at a garage sale. Uh, this is a gunned baby animated good night prayer bear. Um, it actually uh, prays and sings songs. Um, yeah, really nice little uh, find there. Uh, I got a $28.79 out of this, plus they paid shipping on top. So they were all in at $37.49 for this uh, little stuffed plush that uh, prays and sings. So um, yeah, nice little sale there. Uh, this here is another uh, eBay to eBay flip. This is a Quicksilver snapback trucker hat. Um, this one here was a eBay to eBay purchase, um, and this one cost averaged a uh, dollar thirty. So, um, typically, whenever I buy hats, I always want to be under two dollars a hat. Um, that's whether I'm doing an eBay to eBay flip, or whether I'm buying in bulk, uh, or whatever. I typically, unless I know specifically, like on that Jordan hat, I would have paid a lot more on that. I I just know through my experience on selling hats and caps. Uh, and vintage stuff that that one would have demanded a lot more money. I would have paid up a little bit more for that. But on a, most basic hats, I'm never normally going to be over two dollars on a hat. And uh, like I said, even on the bulk purchases on eBay, and that's shipped right to my door, uh, which I absolutely love because that saves me a, cr a bunch of time. Is you know from going to the thrift, fuel, uh, everything. You know, time is money, guys. And uh, you know if I can get stuff online uh, in the comfort of my own chair. You know, that's great. And they'll deliver it to my door even better. So this is another one of those hats. So I've shown you guys multiple examples of, uh, you know, sourcing online and being able to flip those online. Um, here's a brand uh, some of you guys are probably unfamiliar with. Um, I also featured this on my Instagram. So another advantage of uh, following me over on Instagram, you get to see a lot of some sales uh, a lot sooner um, than maybe others. Uh, but this here is a John Varvatos um, Star USA CBGB t-shirt. Um, it's basically like a collector's type of shirt. Excuse me, guys. Uh, I paid $2.99 for this at my local Goodwill, um, and I believe this sold in one day. Uh, yeah, I listed this on 618, and it sold on uh, June 19th uh, for $39.89. So, uh, yeah, really nice return on investment there on just a uh, nice uh, collectible shirt. So, guys, keep an eye out for uh, John Varvato's Star USA, um, and it'll have like a Star USA on the on the tag there. Um, really, really uh, nice, desirable shirt. If you want to see some more photos of this, um, like I said, go check out my Instagram. Just scroll down a little bit. You'll see the shirt. And I have all the photos of this shirt, including the tags and what have you there. So definitely check that out. And if you're not, you know, following me over there, you know, feel free to hit the follow button and, and what have you. Um, and I'll let you guys all into a little bit of my life uh, as well. So uh, up next, we got these really nice L.L. Bean women's blue and white lace, just lightweight, athletic, running shoes, whatever. L.L. Bean's a great brand. You guys all know L.L. Bean. Uh, these here sold for $29.89. I was into these for $4.99 at my local Goodwill. So nice little return there. And they sold for $42.38 with the shipping. So, uh, you know, nice little sale. There's another L.L. Bean item. The reason I'm featuring this item is something a little different. Uh, this sold for $29.89. Uh, they paid shipping on top, which was $42.43. So they were in $42.43 for this shirt. But this is a heavy chamois cloth um shirt it's a double extra large tall so you know it's different it's heavy it's a tall um yeah really nice sale i paid 3.99 for this at uh salvation army i don't do a lot of salvation army shopping because i don't have any near me 
But uh, on occasion, I will uh, find something. And then as I say that, another Salvation Army find. Um, actually, if you guys are familiar with Shane, the Rising Grind Picker, if you guys know who he is or not, him and I, uh, we got together uh, one day. We live a few hours apart, but happened to meet up one day. We did a little bit of thrifting. I actually picked this store up when I was with this, I, this shirt up when I was uh, with Shane. Uh, this is a nice Tommy Bahama extra large polo golf shirt with the silk embroidery. If this would have been a button up shirt, this would have went for a lot more money. But still, guys, keep an eye out for the Tommy Bahama embroidered stuff. I don't pick up a whole lot of Tommy Bahama stuff anymore. Just the market is really tanked on that. There's just so much of it out there. So unless it's extremely unique, different, bright colored something, uh, it's going to really stand out for me to pick that up. But uh, yeah, really nice sale uh, there. I got this for $3.99. And like I said, this went for $39.89. So nice, uh, nice sale there. Uh, here's another one of those Gone with the Wind DVDs. Um, this one here um, is a little bit later, uh, about a week or so. So the market was dropping and more and more people were finding out about it. So, uh, you know, the race to the bottom had begun. Um, I was glad I didn't get a whole lot of them, but I still made some really nice money, $374 into $2489, plus they paid shipping on top. Uh, so I sold for basically uh, $2979. Nice sale, but another uh, great retail arbitrage item with a really good return on investment. Uh, so there's a garage sale pickup. Um, I got this and another item that's coming up here in a little bit. That was a great sale and uh, one game all in a bag for five bucks. So basically, this figured out about a dollar. We'll just say a dollar thirty-three. Um, I had three items. Uh, we'll just figure them out a dollar thirty-three a piece. Um, that's what I ended up putting in my books. Uh, this sold in one day. Uh, this is an OEM Sony PS3 PlayStation Move, uh, like motion camera, gaming camera, or whatever. Um, I got $12.99 out of it, not a home run, but uh, like I said, when it was in a bag with uh, two other items and I got them all basically for $5, um, I'll take that. Um, I'm already ahead. Um, oh, really, a really nice item here. I love, guys, don't skip on these things, man. These uh, home medics, percussion massagers. Um, I just sold one uh, here about a week or so ago as well. I just picked up at a garage sale. They sell extremely fast. Um, this one sold, uh, I listed this on the 16th. It sold on the 22nd, so that's how quick it sold. Um, super fast. Uh, this sold for $44.89 plus buyer paid shipping. Um, or no, they didn't pay, sh I think I might have paid shipping on this. I don't know. It ended up, uh, they were all in at $49.27, whether that was with tax or not. Um, but yeah, I picked this up for $4.99 at my local Goodwill. So these uh, home medics percussion massagers are great. And if you can get the ones with the heat, even better. Uh, they sell uh, for a little bit more money and they'll sell even quicker. So uh, definitely look for the ones with the heat. And uh, if they have all the heads, they typically have uh, three sets of heads with them. Um, they're all interchangeable and what have you. Um, that definitely makes uh, the price go up a little bit. So here's a pair of SAS, San Antonio Shoe Company, uh, Hirachi Brown leather, just ankle strap handle or sandals, nothing crazy. Got these at a little charity thrift store. I paid two bucks for these. They sold for $27.91. Uh, they paid shipping on top. Ended up these ended up going for $38.56. So nice little return there. Uh, this here was one of the other items that was in that uh, PS3 uh, move lot. Uh, so it's basically to this for $1.33 by the time I just kind of broke it down. This is a Sony PlayStation VR Move controller. Um, these things are cool, guys. If you don't know about them, ingrain them into your head. They go for some great money, and they sell super fast. Uh, I listed this on uh, 621 and it sold on the 22nd that fast, guys. Uh, so, yeah, basically $1.33 into $44, $44 $45. Uh, they're super lightweight, so they ship first class. So, yeah, real nice sale there. This pair of Crocs, I got these at a garage sale. Um, I cost average these out to 281. I bought a whole bunch of uh, shoes um, during garage sale day. Uh, one day, by the time I cost average all my shoes out, sometimes that's the best way to do it. Uh, that way, if you have some expensive shoes, you can factor that in with some lower cost shoes, um, get you a little better um, average price um, for uh, purchase price for all your items. So this one here cost average to 281 a pair. Uh, it's brand new with tags. I sold them for $28.79. Uh, they paid shipping on top. So they were all in at $41.99. And uh, these sold in one day. So another super fast sale. You know, they're bright, colorful. I mean, it's a perfect shoe for summer. Um, Harley Davidson. Uh, this here's a Harley button front shirt. Anytime I go to a garage sale, especially uh, if they have Harley t-shirts, if I see a Harley sitting in the garage, I always ask for button up shirts, garage shirts. I would have, I'd rather have these all day long over a t-shirt. 
Um, but anyway, I always ask, and you'd be surprised how many times that people have went in the house and brought these out. Um, and depending on what they are and the size, I will pay up to 10 bucks for these shirts because um, some of them can go for some ridiculous money. Uh, but yeah, this one here, I paid $5.99 for it. I actually got this at my local Goodwill. It had some nice embroidery on it. It was just a nice short sleeve shirt. I got $34.91, so not too bad. Uh, typically, I'd normally get about $40 on the low end for these shirts, but um, I might have had this on sale. Yeah, it, uh, sold with a temper. Yeah, so this one was 10% off. So this was uh, listed right around 40 bucks. So yeah, this is on 10% off sale. All right, guys, we're nearing the end here a little bit. Uh, this here is just a basic uh, Ralph Lauren polo jacket. Um, I pick these up whenever I find them. They usually sell pretty quick. Uh, I, picked the, I listed this on the 6th of June. It sold on the 25th, so less than a month. I'll take that kind of sale any day. Paid $6.99 for this. It sold for $34.89, and the buyer paid shipping on top. It was able to fit in a uh, flat rate padded uh, bubble mailer. Um, oh, this is another pair of shoes. These are actually mine, um, and I flipped them. Uh, these are just a pair of Chacos, uh, really nice Chacos hiking sandals. Um, in excellent shape and condition. I cleaned them all up, made them look basically back to brand new. Um, I actually paid $20 for these on Poshmark. Um, that was my all-in price shipped to me. Um, I see them on there. They were my size. Um, and I got them shipped to my house. I wore them a few times. Decided, ah, I just didn't like them uh, 100% or they just kind of weren't yet for me. Um, so it's like, you know what? I can flip these, no problem. I sold it for $38.60 plus a buyer paid shipping on top. So I wore them a few times. I uh, made a little bit of money on them as well. And I uh, already got them out the door. So uh, Chaco is a great brand to keep an eye out for, guys. Uh, this here's a pair of Margaritaville uh, Barbados, just men's canvas boat shoe, just really nice slip-on shoe. Um, this here is a uh, 281 cost average uh, is what I paid for these at a garage sale, so I picked these up on a garage sale day with a whole bunch of other shoes. So these figured out to be about 281 a pair. Sold these for 26.79. Buyer paid shipping on top, so they were all in at 40.04. So a nice little sale there, guys. I love selling shoes. If you guys notice that. Uh, and it's, the ROI on shoes is so good. Um, that last sales update video um, I had, I was showing you guys ashtrays. I pick them up um, a lot of times if they're free, uh, you know, they're a quarter or whatever. Um, you can actually get some decent money for ashtrays. Um, this one here just happened to be a vintage Las Vegas Hilton. Um, this was in a free bin. Uh, I just happened to see it sitting there. It was in great shape and condition. I quick looked it up. Uh, you know, it's free, but I looked it up anyway, and I seen they were going for about 12 bucks, 10, 12 bucks. Um, for free, I'll take that. Um, I knew it was lightweight. It was going to ship super quick. Uh, this here's Armani Exchange. Um, just a really nice, bright uh, Hawaiian shirt. Had a good color pattern to it. It's a medium. Typically, I wouldn't have picked this up, but I got this at uh, Goodwill on a half-off day. So this, I was only into this for $1.50. It's really hard to leave that there for a uh, buck and a half. Um, and this sold pretty quick within about two months uh, for $24.89. So nice little sale there. This here's uh, Beatles Collector's Edition VHS tape. Yes, guys, VHS still sells. Uh, I got this for 50 cents at a garage sale. New sealed. Um, it's got three movies in it. Um, this went for $14.99 plus uh, buyer paid shipping on top. So they were all in it 2016. This uh, just drop in a box and it goes medium mail. So super cheap to ship. You guys should all know about these. This is just TI 84 plus. Uh, I paid 10 bucks for this at a garage sale. Uh, sold, I believe, within hours of me listing it. Yeah, I listed this on the 28th and it sold on the 28th. This sold within just a few hours. So, um, yeah, really a real quick sale there. 10 bucks and a 58. I'll take that all day long. Uh, another garage sale find. Um, this one I listed on 629, sold on 629. Another uh, super quick flipper. Uh, just vintage uh, ink. This actually just expired uh, in 2019, so it's basically still super fresh. It's just HP uh, 64XL. Uh, paid two dollars for this at a garage sale, and like I said, flipped it in hours for twenty nine bucks. So uh, I got two sales there for what I was into it for uh, twelve dollars, and uh, we've got about ninety bucks in a day. So uh, really, really uh, happy with those uh, results there. Um, this here is just a Ping G10 uh, yellow dot iron. I picked up uh, last year a whole bunch of uh, Ping Seven irons. I got all of them for five dollars total, not a piece, five total. So I was into these for about fifty cents a club. I've only listed a few of them. Uh, this one sold within just a few days of me listing. 
Uh, yeah, I listed this on uh, June 2nd and it sold on the 29th. So pretty quick sale there. Went for $29.51 plus they paid shipping on top. And this just goes in those long tube boxes you get from USPS. So here's just a uh, Magnavox uh, remote. Guys, I got a remote control uh, video on how to test remotes. Um, I'll put a little link uh, up here. You guys can click on that if you guys want to see it. And I'll also put it down below um, in the description if you guys want to go back and check and uh, see how to check uh, remotes if you don't know how to do that. Um, I put that video out a long time ago, but it's been very helpful to a lot of people. I know a lot of people all um, share and tell how to, how to do it. It's super easy as long as you have a cell phone. Uh, and I think we all have one of those. So, uh, But yeah, nice little sale there. Um, I paid, uh, I think, 50 cents for this at a garage sale. It sold for $13.63, so not a home run. But anytime I find remotes, um, especially for uh, DVD, VCR combos, that sort of stuff, definitely always will pick them up because some of them go for some really good money. Uh, this one's an awesome one. This is a vintage He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Just Manny faces. He was definitely not one of the best ones, and he didn't have a sword. Um, I think he has a sword or a staff or something like that. If he would have had that, he would have been worth a little bit more. I got him for a quarter at a garage sale. Uh, he sold for eleven seventy nine. so really happy with that. He sold in about two weeks. Uh, this here is a uh, Hitaway Swing Trainer. Um, I paid three bucks for this, a little charity thrift. Um, it's kind of like just one of those uh, deals you tie to a pole and you can just keep, keep hitting the ball. It wraps around the pole and then unwraps and you can hit it again. Um, this went for $23.89, so nice little return there. Uh, I can't remember if this was a game in that PS3 bundle. No, this, uh, this is a PSP. So I bought a bunch of PSP games at a garage sale. They all average out to about a buck a piece. Um, this is NCAA Football 9 um, for uh, PlayStation Portable. And this sold for $19.89 in about four days. So a uh, really quick sale there and a great sale for a sports game. Uh, I know a lot of people overlook sports games, but there are a few of them that are worth some really good money. Uh, here's another one of those Ping Golf Clubs. This is a Ping G10 Blue Dot. Um, same thing. This one sold for $32.79 plus buyer paid shipping on top. So they were in for $45.26. Um, you know, $0.50 cents into uh, $32 bucks there. And I still have a few of these clubs. I need to get photographed and listed. Uh, it's a pair of shorts, just regular Brooks Brothers shorts. They're blue, um, nothing crazy. These sold for $23.89, nothing spectacular there. Um, this here's a Wilson A500 catcher's mitt, 32-inch. Uh, um, basically like a youth catcher's mitt. If this was bigger, it probably would have went for a little bit more money. Uh, this went for $28.79, uh, and they paid, uh, I thought they paid shipping on top, I'm not sure. But I got this for a buck at a garage sale, so a great return on investment there. All right, guys, that's it. I uh, just got looking at my notes here and uh, scrolling through everything. So, yeah, that's a bunch of the items. Like I say, we got probably pretty close to about 50-some items that I sold over on eBay uh, through the month of June. So we're basically all done with June. Uh, next up, we've got July. Uh, I'll have those uh, broken down. Uh, I'll get the July ones out here pretty quick, and I'll try and break them down in maybe a week or two weeks. Got a lot of really good sales out through the month of July with garage sales season upon us. Heavy now. Uh, I've had a lot of Fridays off lately, so I've been hitting some really good citywide sales and just been doing absolutely phenomenal out there. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, you know, hit the thumbs up button. I really, you know, like, like, comment, subscribe. You guys all know the drill. But uh, anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comments for me, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. I'm always happy to answer those. And, uh, you know, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, fins up. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.